Y'all see me flying, never drop down, drop down, smoking. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I put together this deck with the Hog Rider, Mega Knight, the Prince, and the Bandit. And it's got so much you can do. You can split lane pressure, you can always switch up lanes and not be too worried about it. So hopefully we're able to show that off. We'll split archers in the back right now. So this next gonna be an RG deck, so we'll go with Hog Rider. That might mean he's got Fisherman, but you know, it is gonna activate King Tower at some point. And I think we might get, um, okay, we only get one shot, which is, isn't too bad, but obviously not ideal. We'll go with Little Prince right here. And hopefully that's gonna target onto the right thing first. Nice, which it does. We'll go Prince, and wow, I really thought that that was gonna be too far, um, or too close for the Fisherman to pull. But we'll take it. Um, we do have quite a bit of damage there on that left side somehow. I think the hog only got one hit, so not really sure what um, did all that damage, but I'll definitely take it. So we're not going to use the Prince ability right now. Definitely want to see what else he's going to play. And we do get one shot off before the little Prince dies. We'll go Bandit of our own right here. And let's see. The Bandit is going to die to one shot. I'm surprised he actually went with Barbarian Barrel. That probably freaked him out a bit, but that's okay. We'll go Hog Rider right here. And we'll keep our Rage in our uh, hand for a little bit. I think that's going to be able to fully counter it, which is very well played by our opponent. Going to go Archers right here, clean up the Goblins, and also apply some pressure on that Fisherman. So I'll definitely take that. Um, let's see, we'll go uh, Mega Knight right here. And I think that's going to actually keep our Archer, one Archer alive. That's pretty wild. So what does he have? Mega Knight's going to jump because he can't see that uh, Royal Ghost. That is going to essentially be towered down. And that's going to set us up really nice for um, for this next minute or so. So unfortunately, Little Prince actually got um, targeted by the Royal Ghost. Kind of surprised right there. But we'll go with... I'm expecting him to go with the evil RG pretty soon. Yeah, there it is. So we'll go uh, Archers right here. And we'll go with the Rage. And evil, look at the damage that the evil archers do. This is absolutely insane that that's even a thing, right? We'll go bandit right here. And I think that we'll be pretty good. We're going to go hog rider. We don't have any big spell with this deck, so that's one thing you do have to keep in mind. So I think he's just going to let that go. And evil archers d do delete that uh, royal ghost. We are going to protect our, um, our evil archer with the little prince, which is actually pretty wild to say. And we'll arrows all of this down. And we'll go uh, archers right here. That should be able to pull some of the goblins. And we'll go like this. And I think we should be okay here. Not really sure. Gonna rage. Nice. So that should be able to maybe give up two shots at most. And then looks like we are going to be in a situation where it's gonna be a wrap. Five seconds left. Arrows. Nice. Hit the firecracker and the goblins. And just like that, good game well played. Let's hop into another one. All right. Hop into another match here. Let's end this video off here with the W. So we're gonna split archers in the back. Oh wow, interesting. He actually put it on the inside. I feel like most people put it on the in the safe spot, no? So we'll go bandit to answer it. And let's see if we can force out with the bandit. He's definitely gonna have to respond. Okay, so he's got goblins, so we can't do any prediction rages. We have to do a prediction arrow. Um to get some value. We'll split little prince here in the back. And see what else we can cook up. So archers Oh, it doesn't get a shot off. Interesting. We'll go hog rider here on this right side, see see what we can force out from our opponent. Maybe a tornado. Oh, wow. Okay. Definitely not expecting that, but I'll definitely take it. I'm going to arrows all of this. Get the, get all of that. And then also the archers that came down. Use the ability here to protect the little prince and force out some more elixir. So what, what did we force out? Oh, we forced out minions. That's actually pretty good. So what we're going to do here, go archers, clean things up. Oh, wow. Well played by our opponent right there. We'll go um, prince and minions get taken out pretty easily. And he's probably going to go Goblins. So that means, what is he going to have for the Bandit? What is he going to have for the Bandit? Um, going to be interesting, but with this deck, apply some pressure with the Bandit uh, when you get the chance at the bridge. Force out the Knight. Nice. That Knight is going to be pretty crucial for him, I feel. But he's going to have to use it now. And we're going to go Little Prince. And see what else we can force out. So, Little Prince probably going to take a shot or two. But we do have... Oh, he's got um, evil archers. I just realized that. We'll go hog rider right here. Oh, wow. I definitely should have just... That was so close. It's, it's one of those interactions where it's like, oh, man, come on, right? We'll go rage right here. Just finish off the, the minions a little quicker. Have the bandit dash onto the mortar. Finish that up. 
Forced out some more elixir. Oh my gosh, how are you that slow where you don't get the goblins down in time? Hey, I'm not going to complain though, right? I'm going to go hog rider right here. Draw everything back. And I'm going to go evil archers, clean everything up. And see if we can protect our evil archers. So arrow's not going to do it, my dude. So we're going to go mega knight and keep it at a distance. Evil archers get their maximum value. going to rage this and then going to arrows this as well. And then that's going to clean that up. Oh my gosh, wait. Do we do something? Okay, so he's got Snowball. So Mega Knight is still going to jump onto the tower, which is really huge for us. We're going to go like this, get the Mortar to target onto the Prince. And we're going to go with uh, Bandit right here. And we're going to go Rage as well. And I think we should be okay here. Um, let's see. Yeah, Little Prince going to take the targeting, but I think it would probably take another one. So I'm not too uh, worried about it. And we're going to go Archers. Don't really think we needed it. He's gonna arrow it down anyways, but it's okay. We're gonna arrow this. Gonna get rid of the archers. All he's got is goblins afterwards. And I think if I rage it up, I get one more hit. Nice. All we need to do now is just cycle back and he knows it's good game well played. Oh my gosh, this deck just absolutely demolishes. So Mega Knight will just cycle through. And I think he just gave up. Good game, well played. So just like that, check this deck out. It's pretty simple. It has Mega Knight, which I know a lot of people like, even pros right now. So give this deck a shot. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe for more, and see you next time.